especially if you were face-to-face uh, -face at any point in the tea, in the tea area. Well, that was okay. Yeah. Six two. Maybe just well, just put a bit more work into the legs of Farag, and you never know. Well, that's the danger. Eleven Although five. he's got the, flick, the flicks and the tricks. I think that could be something Elias could add to his game. That's a horrible shot to play against. Clever. Yeah, I think you're right. It's uh, it's another good variation for certainly somebody with uh, Six all. Elias's skill. I saw that. Saw where. Elias was, hit it into the space. Well, two all game balls being eradicated very quickly. There's that flick that's been improved upon. I don't oh, believe it's very, that very is fortunate. An absolute gutter. Well, the crowd silent. Wow, wow. I'm not sure what your uh, Spanish is like. That's it. Crowd loving and that, the so error from Farag. That's okay, isn't it, Jerry? Vamos, vamos. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh my goodness what me, a what a get. <laughs> Carrying on. That's brilliant from Farag, but brilliant from Elias. But Farag knuckling down. Oh, just shushing each other. Oh, oh he's, he's it. made the error early. Farag's made the error. He smiles. Nine, Elias. Farag is going in short. Couldn't get that one out. Well, the crowd go mental. Mental. It's like he's playing in Lima here. Wow, that was just... How casual was that? Oh, my <laughs> that word. That was so casual. So deceptive, that little boast. Oh, oh wow. that's brilliant. Wow. 11-3. That's very, very good from Ali Farag. I mean, you've got to take your hat off to this man. Ladies and gentlemen, He's backing up after a quite brutal schedule. And a really, really tough mental and physical match with the rising talent of Diego Elias. In my notes, I said that you always stay calm. There was a couple of times you got a little bit rattled there, but generally you, you managed to keep it. But you were under a tremendous onslaught from this young wonder boy, Diego. Um, how, was it, how was it on there? How did you cope with the pressure ultimately? Because you had to several times. You're coming back from being down in a couple of games the blood break. Overall, I thought you stayed really calm considering the, uh, the adversity there. Yeah, I was lucky to have uh, Mohamed Abulgar by my corner uh, after that uh, fourth. He was pretty much, even though the third and fourth were still close, he was pretty much dominating the T area and I was going too short too early. And uh, Mohamed just encouraged me by saying that this is your character, this is your strength. Go, go on court and show it and uh, just uh, be resilient. Uh, if you want to lose, just leave it all on there. So. Uh, I thankfully I did that, and as you said, uh, Diego is such an unbelievable player. So smooth on court, his uh, ball hitting is so clean. It's just very hard to get him out of position, and I'm just very happy uh, to be able to win that fifth.